But first, we're taking a trip to Monster Isle, and this colorful new children's book was illustrated by a very talented local artist, and we're thrilled to welcome him to the show today. Yes, Jeff Miracola, we want to welcome you to the morning blend. Thank and you. we have to read this quote. Um, I hope you don't mind from one of your peers, because he <laughs> says, and this is a quote again, if I were a zombie, Jeff Miracola's brain would top my list of things to eat, and the book, he says, this book, would be dessert. Yeah. What do you think about that quote? Is that, is that, that great quote. praise? No, that was great. I love that quote. Um, it's by another uh, illustrator okay. who uh, I've known for years and who I'm a big fan of. So, so it, was a, it was a big honor maybe for you to read? It was a huge honor for him to give me that quote. That's and, great. Yeah, and he's kind of a weird guy, so it's perfect, <laughs> a perfect quote yeah. for him. You really have to think about that quote a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't think we did you justice in really kind of explaining who you are because um, you have helped design a world-famous trading card game called Magic the Gathering. From right. Well, the, I, didn't help the I didn't help design the game, but I did illustrations You did the illustrations. Over 100 paintings for this game. 100 wow. paintings. Yeah. You um, did conceptual toy design mm -hmm. for Warner's brother, Batman and Beyond, which yeah. we are all familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, electronic arts mini golf game for the Apple iPod, yeah. which yeah. a lot of us are very familiar with. <laughs> yeah. And then you did a lot of Dungeons and Dragons illustrations. That's yes. big time, yes. Jeff. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean. you're a big deal. <laughs> you are a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've been doing that for a while, since 1993. Out of yeah. all those big time projects, was there one that is your favorite? This one. This one, yes. this book. Why yes, this because book? it was all leading up to this. Really? I mean, yeah, this is really what I've always wanted to do. Um, doing stuff for children, I enjoy fantasy art, and uh, it was really kind of all leading up to this. Of course, Magic the Gathering was... The card game was a huge one for me. It the thing I always wonder about guys like you when I look at your book and I look at your incredible illustrations is were you always good at art? Like in school, were you for doodling example? on your notebook? All the time. So you were always into it? Always, even mm -hmm. when I wasn't supposed to be. And did teachers yes. notice that you had a gift even early on? Yes, yes. They did? Yeah, and I, and I think, you'll, I think there are, you'll always find a teacher in a young a creative person's life that kind of pushed them and propelled spots them forward. The yeah, did you the actually talent. study art in a formal way? Yes, yes, did. I did. I, I went to uh, Milwaukee High School of the Arts. Okay. Um, so very proud. Great school. I love that school. Very proud of it. Yeah. And uh, then after that, I went on to Myad, Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design for two years. And then left my ad and started freelancing and haven't turned around since. So, so yeah. being here in this community really helped launch your artistic oh, career, for right? Sure. For sure. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned that this book is is fantasy art. Describe fantasy art for people who don't really know what that kind of art is. Oh boy, that's a tough question. I mean, how do you... I mean, it's fantastical. Yeah. It's imaginative stuff, myth and folklore. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, you can see some of it there on screen. Um, I mean, do you, this particular story. I mean, is is this this family basically just. Uh, goes on a vacation, gets caught in a storm, a la Gilligan's Island. Okay. You know, okay. <laughs> a <laughs> yeah. big storm, yes, it looks a like. a big storm, and then they get washed up on this island full of all these fantastical creatures. Some of them you'll recognize, like the, the, the abominable snowman. Mm -hmm. and, Love uh, him. Yes, and the Yowie, which is kind of like the, the North American Bigfoot, but the Yowie's from Australia. Okay. Um, and then, you know, a bunch of other creatures, and then they meet them, and they run from them, and then in the end, everybody's happy and friends. It's really... The one thing I liked about your art, and I think one of the reasons I think kids will like it, is it seems like everything's real round and kind of soft in, yeah. in your work. You know, yeah. like the creatures around, the people around, even that boat had a certain yes. kind of, you know, um, yeah. I don't know what you call that in, in the art world, but it, it has a, it's, it's kid friendly yeah. in that way. Even the scary monsters yes. are nice and round. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the tricks, you know, for kind of. Uh, for doing that, making things a little less scary. Get rid mm -hmm. of some of those hard edges, make things a little softer and rounder, exactly. And what are some of the other tricks to uh, your art that make <laughs> it so fantastical? Um, color choices. I mean, I use, as you see from the book, I use a lot of color, a lot of very vibrant, uh, exciting colors, and just odd shapes and, and, and wonderful things happening in the book. There's weird flowers that that aren't based on a real flower. They're just like very the fantastic. Flower. Yeah, they're just yeah. Well, stinky flower. Yes. I'm glad you didn't go right from the corpse flower to my book. Yeah. Stinky? Oh, no. <laughs> Do you um, have a favorite children's illustrator or some favorites? Yes. Um, I'd say one of my all-time favorite books is uh, The Story of Ferdinand. Okay. Um, that's written by Monroe Leaf. Uh, okay. Illustrated by Robert Lawson. That's one of my all-time favorite books. A lot of people recognize the name Robert Lawson, I yes. think, too. What about children's authors? Do you have a favorite children's author? Oh, boy. Um, 
Like, do you like Dr. Seuss? I do. Yeah, yeah I do like. Well, who doesn't like Dr. Seuss, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Where do you get yeah. your ideas? Uh, do you get them um, in the middle of the night? Do you have a notebook always with you that you you know doodle on and, and come up with? Different yeah, things? exactly. I'm always drawing. Are That's the thing. I just it never ends. I, I'm just I'm constantly drawing all the time, and they just you know ideas come to you in dreams or in the shower or wherever and you know I don't take a sketch pad with me in the shower but, <laughs> but you have one ready to go. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Are you doing any signings where people have the opportunity to meet you and check out the book? Yes, I will actually be um, at Martha Merrill's Books in uh, Waukesha on Sunday, November 23rd. Okay. Uh, there's a big event going on called Author Mania. And okay. Last year they had 30, 35 uh, authors and illustrators all in one bookstore. Oh, exciting. On, and that'll happen this year on November 23rd. Great. And so. how can people get a hold of your book? People can get a hold of the book by going to uh, monsterisle.net. Okay. Um, and there's an entire list of places where you can buy the book. You can also get it locally from Harry Schwartz Books. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. Thank yes. you so much for joining us this Thank morning. You. It was so fun to have you. Great book. Great illustrations. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.